friends good evening i appeared for the bureau of energy efficiency certification exam in 2004 that time for certified energy auditor we need to appear for a yoc also after the written test i remember that around 450 people qualified as ces and around 500 qualified as cems totaling to a less than nearly less than 1000 people immediately next year in 2005 a few cas and cms collectively formed the first professional association of certified energy auditors and managers in india termed society of energy engineers and managers seem s e e m from 2005 february when it was formally launched seem has grown in a big way having presence now in almost all states of the country undertaking more than 1000 numbers of capacity building programs publishing a print quarterly magazine since 2007 the name of the magazine is energy manager with the support still continuing from adame a d e m e the french agency for energy and environment management the counterpart of bureau of energy efficiency situated in paris france as a founder general secretary and then the vice president of seem i am very delighted to see the consistent growth of this association and i feel very happy to join this webinar this preparatory course for the 21st be examination i would like to share some of my observations in this short time before going to that let me place on record my sincere appreciation for the great work being done by seem leadership and the support given by the fellow seamians also i thank uh, the office bearers and the organizers of seem for inviting me for this program friends i welcome you all to the most recognized and respected certification program in energy management in india and probably asia as of now through 20 examinations be has produced about 10500 ces and around 9000 cems uh, nearly around uh, 20000 professionals i recollect that uh, during the initial years of bureau of energy efficiency they have estimated that india requires about 50000 energy professionals happy to note that the interest is growing and more and more people are appearing every year for this examination or for the certification process this certification process no doubt enables the professionals to receive special recognition for the for their expertise in a variety of specialized areas of energy efficiency and management individuals granted with the use of this designation or the affiliation by the bureau of energy efficiency have distinguished themselves as earning the highest reputation our highest level of competency in energy management the ca cm provides a recognizable affirmation of demonstrated competencies in a wide range of energy related principles and practices i believe the ca cm is nearly universally accepted and is recognized by a cross section of institutions both public and private ca cms are now found engaged in almost all the various aspects of energy industry including major multinational corporations utilities energy audit firms escos national state local governments universities industrial facilities commercial buildings big retail chains hospitals as well as uh, in the consultancy arena with fierce competition and opportunities for um, obtaining employment in the energy industry this added certification definitely gives us the added advantage now i am heading the bee sda the state designated agency of kerala the energy management center emc we give preference to cas and cms during our recruitment process as of now we have around 8 uh, certified professionals in our role as energy technologists friends once you become a certified professional or even otherwise 
after attending this course after acquiring some knowledge on energy efficiency and management i feel you have a greater role in the society not only in your enterprise or establishment where and whether you are authorized to act as the energy manager or not or energy auditor or not but you have a larger role to play to sensitize and provide valuable advice to the energy users around us to use energy in its most efficient manner and contribute their part towards the larger goal of reducing carbon emissions to preserve this nature for humanity and other beings in the planet for sustainable living before concluding one aspect on the job of energy auditor and energy manager audit i believe is not a superficial exercise of finding some generic observations it is a very serious in depth probing and analysis of energy usage pattern performance evaluation of first start with starting with the energy guzzlers not relying entirely on the thumb rules but through proper measurement of different parameters of various energy consuming equipment systems audit do not restrict its scope to the utilities alone it need to get into the details of process its optimization modernization audit do not re- restrict its scope to some housekeeping measures it need to probe into investment opportunities audit do not end up in kwh or kilojoule calculation saving it should sensitize the finance manager with such numbers or units like rupees irr npv cash flow statement which he is comfortable audit should suggest way forward for implementation of the identified opportunities like taking the esco route of implementation or not availing soft loans offered by the financial institutions kerala in kerala the kerala financial corporation kfc offers a soft loan of 7% interest rate for energy efficiency projects and in that case our audit report should by itself or as a separate volume act as a bankable dpr audit should address in my opinion the management structure of the enterprise and suggest changes like assigning the role of energy manager energy management to a designated energy manager if such a person is not available right now audit should also address and assess the training needs of an organization in energy area so it is a big huge responsible important respectable job my humble request is that we the energy fraternity should not demean this profession i wish all of you good success in your examination a bright career a enriching session in the coming days and stay safe thank you